So the New England Patriots have gone out and they've signed Hunter Henry now. So again, they're signing everybody, it seems. And now they have a second tight end. And you know what? I kind of like this move a lot. I think that it makes a good amount of sense. And I feel like I've liked every move the Patriots have done for the most part, uh, even the ones that I don't think are like outstanding. I still think are pretty good. Uh, and, you know, three years, $37 million, it is a bit of money. They're now paying Henry uh, and Jonu Smith a good amount of money. But I do kind of feel like if you're going to pay Hunter Henry, this is the way to do it. Because, yes, he does have some injury issues. But at least now you have Jonu Smith. So it's not like you're completely relying on him. We know New England has had success with multiple tight ends in the past. You know, obviously Aaron Hernandez and Rob Gronkowski uh, come to mind. And so we know that this is something they can do. And these are two good tight ends and they should pair with each other pretty well. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get into the film study. So we'll start off with this play. What's going to end up happening on this one. This is in the Kansas City game. It was Herbert's first start. Uh, and it's going to actually be a cover zero, which means that a safety, Daniel Sorensen, is going to pick up Hunter Henry. Henry's running a route over in the middle. But what I like about this route from Henry is really going to be how he runs it. Because keep in mind, this is a disguise, and he doesn't exactly know who's the guy who's going to end up being, you know, who's going to cover him. But watch, once this play starts, notice how he's doing such a good job of selling as though he's going to go to the top of the screen. How is he doing that? Well, by running in that direction. You run to your right. That can get, you know, Sorensen. You see, he hasn't fully opened up his hips towards the sideline in that direction, but he's starting to open up his hips in that direction. And that's what Hunter Henry is trying to do. Just fool him. Make it easier on yourself. And that's what route running really is, is route running just makes things easier on yourself. And so having a good route runner, uh, you know, yes, Henry has all the physical tools, but you know, being able to make little moves like this just make things so much easier. And watch, he is then able to cut back over the middle and make the grab. And that's kind of how he can not just beat linebackers in coverage, but he can also beat safeties in coverage. So that's just a huge plus there. Now, I have to be honest, a decent amount of the yards that he got were with plays like this, which isn't a bad thing. It's just, you know, I guess it is a little bit. Uh, it's a bit, make, can make his numbers be a bit inflated. Uh, where what's going to happen is that this is a cover two zone and you see Henry's route. It's going to kind of get into a gap in coverage. Uh, and so that's kind of what you're looking for. He just wants to get to the spot in zone coverage and then Herbert hits him. That's what you try and do. And watch once this play starts, you see Henry is able to sort of get in that little bubble right there. So there is an easy throwing window, not the easiest throwing window. There is some coverage there. But, you know, Herbert can make this play, and it's not exactly a high degree of difficulty play from Henry, right? He just had to get to his spot. He didn't have to fool anybody. He didn't have to run by anybody. You know, get to your spot, get to your spot quickly. There is value in that. But, again, numbers can get a bit inflated through stuff like this. Granted, his numbers are still pretty good for a tight end. He, If you were to take, if he, would, if he were to be healthy and you take it out for a 16-game season, he would average 675 yards per season which is you know pretty good for a tight end and it's obviously not like those are all of his you know all of his catches are coming from plays like that but some of them are so I felt like I should at least bring that up but now let's talk about some stuff that he can do really well so we got to talk about you know him being a red zone threat inside the five this is something that he's good at I mean this is why he can be a big fantasy football uh guy because you know he can get these touchdowns he has 21 touchdowns in, you know, just 49 career starts. So that's, you know, pretty good. Again, for a tight end, that's, you're, you're, you'll certainly take that. But watch how he's going to do it on this one. It's a cover two man. His route is going to be away from the safety. So it's going to end up being a one-on-one -on -one matchup. But again, I really like how he runs this route. He's just, he has a lot of little nuances in these routes he runs. It's not like he's this incredible route runner, right? It's not like he's, uh, you know, Antonio Brown or Julian Edelman or one of these guys. Like, he's, he's good. But what he can do is he can just do these little things right enough to get him enough separation. So once this play starts, really what I like about this situation. So, you know, the defensive back who's trying to cover Henry, he's doing a pretty good job of kind of just standing in Henry's way, just kind of getting in front, which I think is smart. You know, get that's a, a very intelligent thing to do. Also, uh, linebacker, not defensive back, I meant to say linebacker. But what Henry is going to do to counteract this is kind of just say, you know what? Yes, you're stepping in front of me, which usually means you it can kind of screw up when you want to cut, but still cut at your point. Don't 
worry about the fact that he's in front of you. Embrace the contact, run through him, and then try to make your cut and get open. And as you see, he does exactly that. He runs through and he makes the grab. Just a really good play by Hunter Henry. That's just one of the one of the many things that he can do well. This one was my favorite play of his of the year. I love this play. This is another, you know, inside the five situation where you either run the ball or you typically, what do you do? What do you do if you don't run the ball? You run play action, have a little rollout to the right, and Hunter Henry is going to, you know, a tight end. So in this case, Hunter Henry runs along that side and he can be your first read. You hope that the other team is so aware of a potential run that Henry gets wide open. So Herbert takes the snap and you notice that it's kind of working. I mean, Herbert could just put his foot down and make a throw and it probably would be a touchdown here, right? But Herbert wants to make sure that this is a guaranteed touchdown. So he's going to wait a little bit to make this throw. And Part of me wonders if this is something that him and Henry have worked out ahead of time, like if they already knew that this was a possibility of what could happen and they have a plan for it, because what you're going to see here is just just brilliant. And par I don't know if this is just Henry working in real time or what exactly happened, but if this was Henry just, you know, doing this on his own, it's incredible. Watch him just stop. He just stops, which allows uh, Herbert to make this throw easily. There's, it's wide open because you never stop in that kind of route. You always just keep running towards the sideline. And then once you get close to the sideline, then you stop. But Henry wasn't close to the sideline. He had plenty of room to go. That's just high IQ football. I think, again, it could be possible that this is something that was planned ahead of time. Like, hey, if it's tight coverage, then stop right there. But I doubt that because I no other team does that. So I think this was just Henry working on his own, realizing, okay, the ball's not coming to me. I'll stop. Now the ball will come to me because I'll be wide open. And finally, one more play. Let's talk about his blocking. Uh, I think that there's maybe a bit of a misconception that he's only like a receiving tight end. He can block. He can absolutely block. Uh, he's not uh, George Kittle at blocking, but he can block. He's he's someone who, you. It's, he's absolutely not one of these guys who is basically just a big wide receiver. As you see, is going to finish off this edge block right there. You know, again, I'm not saying that he's incredible, but hey, you're blocking an edge rusher. That's not easy to do. He did a good job on that one. So he can do that. Like, he's a fine t blocking tight end. Uh, he's not going to be a black hole there. He's not going to, you know, completely screw up a ton of plays. He's also not going to be someone you probably run your running offense through, like we've seen, you know, uh, Tampa Bay do with Gronkowski or New England do with Gronkowski, mostly just Rob Gronkowski. But, you know, uh, th that's not really going to happen with H Henry, and that's okay because that's not why you pay him money. You pay him money to be a good receiving tight end who can also block. So, yeah, that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.